Global battery demand is a well-established megatrend with batteries at the forefront of the major transitions from clean energy to increased defence spending driving markets today. In turn, there's an increasingly large addressable market for new technologies that make batteries more efficient and ASX-listed LIS Energy is rapidly emerging as one of the stocks to watch in that sector. Initially established through the collaboration of two teams of specialist nanomaterials scientists, LIS is at the forefront of developing next-generation lithium sulfur and lithium metal batteries, a breakthrough technology set to transform a diverse range of sectors from commercial UAVs to military drones. Offering twice the energy density of traditional lithium-ion batteries, LIS Energy's lithium sulfur batteries deliver increased energy energy at half the weight, a valuable combination that can extend flight times and reliability while also being easier to recycle than traditional batteries. With a state-of-the-art production facility in Australia, LIS is pursuing commercial agreements across multiple sectors in global markets. And this week we caught up with CEO Dr. Lee Finier, direct from the Paris Air Show, to see what's happening on the ground. Lee, welcome to Investor Stream for the first time. For starters, the Paris Air Show is the largest trade show of its kind globally, with around 300,000 attendees expected over the course of the four-day event. Can you introduce the event for us and the types of activity you've observed since opening day? Absolutely. Well, the Paris Air Show is the biggest aerospace event in the world, and it's extremely important for us in terms of drone defense and electric aviation for our systems. But the show is absolutely massive. They have about 300,000 people attend during the week. There are five huge halls where all the trade exhibitors go, and and that's really where we focus our attention. That's where our prospective customers are. That's where our partners are. So for us, it's a wonderful opportunity to catch up with those people. And the air show itself is an absolutely fantastic event for that. Thanks, Lee. Now, among all the exhibits and networking on the ground, what key themes have emerged in your view that underline the emerging trends in aviation technology? I think this is really interesting. Um, two years ago, we came to the Paris Air Show for the first time, and it's changed a little bit since then as far as we're concerned. We've seen a big increase in the number of UAVs, drones, defense exhibits going on, particularly in the drone space, plus commercial drones delivering medicines in Africa and things like that. So there's a lot going on in that space. What we've also seen is a little bit of a drawback on the electric aviation area. Some of the startups that were here two years ago aren't here today. And I think that's because uh, what we see in electric aviation aviation is a very long process of getting certification for electric aircraft to fly with passengers. So what we see are, are people sort of keeping their powder dry as they go into the aviation space. And it really does justify what we've been doing in focusing in that drone and defense space as the early opportunities for what we do with our very lightweight batteries. Okay, so turning to LIS Energy's lithium sulfur battery more specifically, has the Paris Air Show allowed you to advance commercial discussions with potential partners across all of LIS's addressable markets? It really has. We're only in uh, the beginning of day three here, so we've got a couple more days to go. But already what we've done is we've connected with a lot of the uh, companies that we met originally two years ago, and that's been great because two years ago, we were still a very, very early stage startup at that time. We didn't have our phase three production facility available. We didn't have the ability to show our cells to our customers or produce them for testing and trials. And now we have. So it's been great to come back and meet all those existing contacts that we made two years ago and show them just how far we've advanced because now we have a factory, we can produce cells in volume for testing and trials, and we can ship them out, which is absolutely brilliant. And I think the other thing I enjoy very much was meeting some of our existing partners such as Magnix Aero. They've been making great strides in electric aviation propulsion. I sat down with their chairman and CTO yesterday at their stand and we mapped out our strategic plan for the future of our partnership. The third thing is really about the new contacts we're making. There, there are a lot of companies. It's such a big show. It's really hard to get around everyone, but we're making some really good new contacts with drone companies in particular here where we're focusing on short-term opportunities. So yeah, it's been a great show. And it's great to cover Europe. Four weeks ago, I was at Special Forces Week in the Americas, where we're really focusing on the US market, focusing on defense. Whereas here, we get to focus on the European market, and we get to focus on commercial opportunities, as well as those defense opportunities as well. So it's a really great show for us. And just finally, Lee, given that there are more than 150 aircraft and at least 200 flying displays at this year's air show, what were some of the highlights from all the different technologies on display? 
it's really hard to pick one, to be honest. I'd encourage anyone that is interested in aerospace to come to this show. I think the highlight for me, and I can't get away from it, is the F-35 aircraft uh, flights that they've done here. It's an ear-splitting opportunity to see the top technology from the aviation industry in action, and it really is quite extraordinary. Now, we did see some other good things. I've seen uh, Volterra fly their electric aircraft here, and that was really good. And we've seen some amazing aerobatics. But to be clear, I have to say the F-35 takes a cape. Thanks, Lee. Appreciate your insights and all the best. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.